Okay, let's just touch real briefly on our software that we use to not only record known good solenoids, but then use that to compare the solenoids that we're testing uh, in the machine with. So let me just open up uh, HD Control. So this is our, our standard software that ships with the machine on the laptop. Um, it's very similar to our valve body testing software, but it's you know a little bit simpler just because we're only testing individual solenoids. So I'm gonna just uh, for demonstration purposes here, I'm gonna pick a uh, solenoid here. Let me click OK. And it kind of brings up, it's gonna load a, a profile or a script as we call it. Um, what you can see on here is we have two pressure gauges. So we have our, our input pressure. So this is the pressure we're gonna be applying to the solenoid. And then the output pressure here is the pressure that the solenoid is kind of regulating as we increase the current and decrease it. So this, this input pressure here, this is where when we deadhead the machine, and adjust it on our regulator here, this is where we're gonna see that pressure. Um, and this is where we're gonna wanna say, hey, I'm gonna test the solenoid at say 100 PSI, so we're gonna deadhead it, adjust this until this hits or reads exactly 100 PSI, uh, then we let this go, we let that 100 PSI go down to the solenoid, and then as we regulate the current, uh, we're gonna see a change on the gauge on the left there. Uh, there's a couple of different options we have here. So the first one, we can do test solenoid. So that's a continuity check to the solenoid. Uh, we're gonna apply some current to it and make sure it actually responds, that, that it, it records current or reads current. Um, you know, we don't have an open circuit or, or even a short circuit in that case. Uh, our test scenario is kind of a pre-written script where we're gonna, we're gonna start at a low duty cycle, go up to a high duty cycle, and then come back to a low one. Uh, and we can do that a number of different times. We may actually, as we write that script, we can prompt the user to change the, the test pressure uh, to a couple different pressures. So we can do it a low, a medium, and a high pressure and run that solenoid through three cycles there uh, and record all of that. Uh, the manual mode is basically, if I go to manual mode, uh, it's going to allow me to basically manipulate the cell to whatever duty cycle I want and then observe what that output pressure would be. Um, some of that would be used more of when I'm first going to set up a script. You know, I may play with this and see, well, where do I want to go to my duty cycle? Where does the solenoid max out? You know, does it max out? You know, what pressure am I going to run this thing at? So, and, um, but once you do have a script written, and we do provide a number of scripts with the machine uh, to kind of get you started. Uh, when I go to my test scenario, um, I'm gonna basically go through, it's gonna run the sequence automatically once I hit start, and we'll give you a graph uh, at the end, and I'm just going to show you a good example I have of one right here. So this would be the typical output you would get, and you can see here this was run. Uh, the solenoid is run at 80 psi, so the gray lines along the top, uh, the dotted line is my master, and the solid line is what the solenoid actually did. So what I'm always trying to do is I want to make sure I have my my test settings, my pressure, and my temperature always the same, so that these lines should basically lie on top of each other. So you can see my input pressure was very very close. That pretty much is on top of each other. Uh, the output pressure is the blue line. So you can see the blue line didn't quite match. It was off a little bit, uh, but the shape is generally the same. Uh, we're looking for a nice smooth increase as we go up. It should max out and a nice smooth increase as we go down. We shouldn't see, you know, where this all of a sudden snaps up part way up and we see a large change in pressure over a very short amount of time. Uh, the red lines on the bottom here are the current. So you can see this here, we started at zero and then we started increasing our current. We leveled off here, held it for uh, yeah, about a half a second or so and then started coming back down. So as we increase our current up, we bring it back down and we see our pressure does that. So that's typically what you're going to be doing. You're going to record a known good uh, master solenoid and then all the ones you're testing after that, you're comparing against that. You know, did I match that master solenoid? Um, and that's uh, basically kind of the basics of testing uh, solenoids on this machine. You're going to build a library of this uh, I guess you could say your dotted lines for each of the different solenoids you're going to test, and then each one you test, you're going to try and match it. And then if they don't match, it's uh, usually usually pretty obvious. So, so but that's kind of the basics on our software and uh, testing with the HT Soul.